Why did we fall, Bruce? Welcome to Snap Shorts, some short videos on Azure Synapse Analytics. So in this video, I'm going to cover moving a data warehouse, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, Azure SQL Pool, from outside a workspace into a preview workspace. It's quite simple. Um, now, currently we, we have to click a few buttons, but in the future, this should just be a really simple one button click. Okay, so I have on this screen, here is my workspace. And on this screen here, this is my um, previously SQL Data Warehouse I've just created. It's, you can just see it, it's a Synapse SQL Pool, SQL Data Warehouse. Just for this to highlight this, I'm going to create a new restore point. And I'm going to call this Jeff. So now this is going to go away and create my restore point. Should only take a few seconds. Then I'm going to go into my, so this is the one I want to move into my workspace. So I then go back to my workspace and I don't have any SQL pools there. I do create a new pool. I then give it, we'll just call this demo pool. Put the cost down just for the demo. Go to, if I click review and create, it jumps right to the end. What I need to do is actually just jump back a step, go to additional settings and say, do we want to go from a backup if we have any backups? So my data warehouse I've actually just created, so I don't have any backups or any kind of restore point. So I just pick up the there and then I'll pick up the one I want to restore. I don't have any automatic ones because it needs to be running for a certain amount of time, but I do have the user defined one and I have one called Jeff, which I've just created and one called um, backup test. So I'll pick Jeff, hit next, next and create. And now it's going to do its do and basically create a SQL data warehouse inside this uh, Synapse workspace. So if I go back onto the workspace, within a few minutes, it will just appear on here. All right, um, we'll just hang around and wait for that to appear. And I'll just speed up the video. And there we can see that it's created it and it's just restoring it at the moment. So hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer. Great, that looks like it's done. So let's get rid of this. Let's now click on Launch Synapse Studio. And we should find our data warehouse has been created in here. And we should have some lovely tables. So what I didn't show is that this database is the adventure works so it has all the adventure works tables in so now instead of just creating a effectively an empty database um, which is what i would have had to have done i've created a backup um, of an existing data warehouse restored in here and so now I can now go and just have a look at all my data in here and that was it nice and quick easy only a few clicks all right I'll see you for the next video bye